hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in our last video we have seen what our regular expression is and we have seen the re uh, regular expression like now in this video we will see what regular expression count does so before starting i'll tell you what it does it is basically used to count the number of times that a pattern occurred in a string so uh, this is the syntax so you you specify the function regex uh, count then you specify the source string on which you want to do the search and then what is a search pattern you want to search so these two are the mandatory uh, information and after that you can specify what is the starting position where will you will look for the search pattern and then is the match modifier so if you want it to be case sensitive case insensitive like those things information will come here now i have prepared a set of statements and i will show you how do we leverage um re regular expression count so this statement select give us the uh, last name and then it looks for the pattern capital a to k how many like uh, uh, what is the count of the uh, pattern a to k in the last in the field last name okay so let us execute this and see our output so here it should search for all the characters between a to k so if you see here we have only one similarly here we have only one here we have one and here if you see we have two because here at d the first character is lies between a to k and this h lies between a to k so it returns the count of the matching now let us go to the uh, second statement and execute it so here we are extracting the first name and uh, we are looking for the pattern a to k again and we have specified the starting position the starting position is 1 and it should be case insensitive so it is following the entire um, format in which it can be written so uh, let us execute the statement and see so here you see from a to k we have two here so l and n does not lies between a to k so we have two similarly here we have uh, a and d now come to this one so here we have d a i and d so we got four now let us execute the third statement so here again we are extracting the first name and we are checking on the first name where the first character you remember the caret uh, sign uh, the symbol which we have used before which we have discussed in the last video Achha, i'll give the link of the last video in the description you can check that out it may be found on the uh, or i'll also place in the uh, i button so you can get it from there so here uh, what we are doing we are checking that if the first name has the pattern a to c if so it will return the count okay uh, actually we have given it at the starting so if there is a two consecutive or uh, like we will start the search from the starting so let us execute this and see so here we have it because a is the capital here in this uh, in the name of it similarly we have anthony alexis okay now let us go to the fourth statement and see so here we are extracting the last name and uh, rejects part of the last name if it starts with k then some character and then any character from a to z let us see what we get here so for all this which starts with
we don't have a here here uh, it should be starting with like it should have k in the starting so where is k k yeah so it follows this pattern so here we have one matching here 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 okay so now uh, let us execute the fifth statement so here again we extracting the last name and now we are seeing that okay we have used the grouping arrows okay so the first character should be k then anything whose minimum occurrence should be 2 and maximum should be 3 and at the end it should be uh, ending with any character from a to z okay so here we should get anything like k some uh, one alphabet another alphabet and so if it is like k uh, 4 and 5 so uh, either k with the uh, last name total characters 4 or 5 should return let us check this so now if you see here 4 characters yeah we have one matching here also here also and here also so five characters here maximum is three and then the fourth character r now let us see uh, the statement here we have some text and we are looking for the count of the digits here okay and the starting position we have specified as one so here we have three one one and r1 so total three now let us execute the statement and see so here i have specified the starting character to be 51 so it should actually check from here and it should return me two let us execute this and see yeah and it and it returns us two hope you would have understood this video if there is any doubt feel free to reach reach out to me in the comment section um, and if you like the video i'll request you to please like click on the like button subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thank you